Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuhu. Welcome to Practical Research 2. Chapter 1. Meaning and Characteristics of Research. Objectives. At the end of the chapter, you are expected to define what is research, describe characteristics, strengths, and weaknesses of quantitative research, and recognize different kinds of quantitative research. What is research? Paler, Kalmarin and Kalmarin in 2007 defined it as the scientific investigation of phenomena which includes collection, presentation, analysis and interpretation of facts that links an individual's speculation with reality. As defined in Lexico.com, the term research is the systematic investigation into and study of materials and sources in order to establish facts and reach new conclusions. Basically. Research is trying to find a possible solution towards a specific, timely, and important problem. It can also lead to new discoveries, innovations and new procedures that will improve our lives in general. You might not think about it so often, but we are affected with research by products in different aspects of our daily lives. These are only a few of the many reasons why research is important. Research improves quality of life. Research is used not just in education but in very broad fields such as medicine, agriculture, social sciences, animal science, engineering, and every other field of study that you can think of. All of these research have led to advancements such as better medicine, better crop yield and irrigation systems, research on communities and human behavior, reproduction of livestock, better structural designs, and others that have helped improve our lives. Improves instruction. When a teacher, a professor, or an instructor does research well, then he or she becomes even more knowledgeable. Educators, policymakers, and educational researchers continue to conduct research to improve instruction, improves students' achievements. Regardless of what level, when a student knows the art of researching, then it enables the student to make assignments, projects, and other school work well. This in turn increases the performance of the student. Improves teachers' competence. Teachers who does research and publishes their paper contributes not just to the quality and standards of the school he or she belongs to, but also the scientific knowledge and community in general. Satisfies man's needs. There are a lot of man's needs, wants and desires that have been satisfied by research. The invention of cars, airplanes, appliances. Gadgets that we use in our daily lives like smartphones, remote controls, air conditioners, and many others. These are all outputs of exhaustive research. Reduces burden of work. Manual work have been automated and a lot of heavy lifting in factories have been taken over by machines and computers in order to reduce the burden of work to man, both physically and mentally. Research has deep-seated psychological aspects. Research stimulates the human spirit. It challenges man to find new things, search greater heights and get rid of stagnation. Arduous research, once completed, truly gives a sense of empowerment and self-fulfillment to the researcher. Improves the exportation of food products. There are a lot of food that are exported and imported all around the globe. Philippine products such as bananas, mangoes, pineapples, canned crab meat, frozen yellowfin tuna prawns and many others will not reach other countries in fresh, edible and good condition without hours upon hours of research. Responds to the economic recovery and austerity measure of the country. The Philippines have developed research programs under DOST, DBM, DEPED and other departments in order to give solutions to a plethora of problems. It is important to have these researches turn into projects that improves employment, increase graduates, and boost workforce in order for the country to improve its economy. Trains graduates to become responsive to the economic development of the country and compete globally. There are four mandated functions of universities as well as private schools in the Philippines, instruction, research, extension and production. A lot of people think that research is only there to give extra credit for promotions but, in reality, research is needed and done in just about anything. For example, improving a certain course will need three five years worth of data coming from graduates or completers of that course. Training and retraining of teachers to do better research will help them effectively, efficiently and excellently deliver content in other services to the students. 
Thus, graduates can compete globally and respond to the economic development of the country. Characteristics of Research Empirical Research is based on direct experience or observation of the researcher. The collection of data relies on practical experience such as interviewing respondents, observing different types of bacteria under a microscope, measuring crop yield with specific soil conditions, and others. Logical. Research is based on valid procedures and principles. Scientific study is done in systematic, orderly manner of procedures in order to get the most accurate results that will lead to better conclusion or generalizations. Cyclical. A research begins with a problem and ends with a problem. For example, a teacher conducts a research on whether grade 12 student tutors will be able to help grade 7 students in improving their grades in algebra. Results shows that there is no significant increase in the scores of the grade 7 students. Recommendations show that college student tutors might help improve the grades of the students. The teacher then conducts another study, and so on. Analytical Research utilizes proven analytical procedures and data gathering whether historical, descriptive, experimental or case study. In historical research, data gathered is focused in the past. Descriptive research focuses on the present situation. Experimental research tries to simulate possible outcomes in the future. And, case study combines past, present and the future. Critical Careful and precise judgment in testing research hypothesis is crucial. Research studies are a basis for finding solutions to future problems or stopping past disasters and happening again. That is why a higher level of confidence is maintained as much as possible. For example, 1.0% or 5.0% should be used in order for the researcher to be confident on rejecting or accepting hypotheses. Methodical Research is conducted in methodical manner. The use of appropriate research design and gathering procedures will help the researcher conduct the smoothly and with less error on data gathered. Replicability. Research design and procedures can be replicated or repeated to arrive at valid and conclusive results. For example, a research study on avian flu made in North America can be replicated here in the Philippines. Similarities and differences of replicated researches can be compared. The more replications of researches, the more valid and conclusive results would be. Qualities of a good researcher Intellectual curiosity A researcher deeply thinks about the different things, phenomena, problems in his or her environment. A researcher is creative, inventive, makes use of experiences, continuously reads related literature about problems he or she is interested in examines answers to problems and is overall keen to various information that comes his or her way on a daily basis. Prudence. A researcher conducts study at the right time and place. A researcher is aware of time and resources being limited that he or she makes use of seven M's, manpower, money, materials, method, machinery, moment of time and marketing. These are all taken into account by a good researcher. Healthy criticism. A good researcher does not believe the research to be perfect or extremely accurate. He or she gives room for doubt knowing there could be missing data, error in setups or misinterpretation of results that can lead to falsely accepting or rejecting a certain hypothesis. Also, a good researcher will accept critic and different opinions about the conclusion of the study, and will not be biased in defending the study. Intellectual Honesty an intelligent researcher is honest to collect or gather data in order to arrive at honest results. A good researcher will not simply copy a study without properly citing or acknowledging the original authors. He or she will also not fabricate data out of thin air and will not manipulate data just to come up with results he or she wanted. Intellectual Creativity Inventing unique, novel and original researches is one of the rarest traits of a researcher especially nowadays when almost everything has been discovered or invented, and innovation is the main game, purely new ideas are indeed hard to find and that's why a researcher who has this ability is considered to be really good. You, as a student, have been using research methods in your daily life without even noticing it. That is because human naturally inquires about things in his environment and is curious with a lot of things. Our minds are also built to be logical, analytical and orderly. 
You just have to awaken that inner researcher in you. Thanks for watching. In lesson 2, we will be talking about types of research, classification of research, quantitative versus qualitative research and characteristics of quantitative research.